Hey everyone, welcome back to another special launcher live stream. I'm Shannon Lau, your host today. Um, and launcher is Washington Post video games brand and team. And we cover anything from investigative features to uh, video game reviews and tips. And today we have a bunch of special guests here to talk about League of Legends, which is the world's biggest PC game and has now branched out to mobile. And we've also done a story on that on Washington Post website, you can check out that just published today. So today we have guest uh, Jacob Wolf, uh, Chief Investigative Reporter at Dot .esports. Say hi, Jacob. Hello, thank you for having me. I'm super excited. I haven't played League in a few weeks, so this will be fun. Yeah, it's awesome. We also have Dylan Ladd, a freelance writer for Dot .esports. Say hi. Hello, hello. Really happy to be here as well. And we also have Washington Post's very own design inter design intern just saying hi everyone awesome okay so without further ado i guess we can just start talking about you know uh different league of legends coverage we can kick it off with um well first of all i i'm kind of curious what are everyone's like levels of experience when it comes to league and how long have you been playing i've been playing since like a lot since 2012 i did play during the beta period. I actually didn't really like it. Um, and then I had a friend, close friend, who I, <clears throat> I still play games with like almost every day. Um, but uh, he got me back into League in 2012. I've started playing pretty consistently since then. Um, I think I've, I've definitely played placements games at least in ranked at least 10 every single season since. Uh, and I've played a decent amount this year. Um, but yeah, so I guess that's technically nine, nine years of playing League of Legends pretty consistently. And I've covered the game for six and a half. So that's uh, well, uh, way too much of this game. That's awesome. Uh I myself started in like the summer of like 2012 in my freshman year of uh, college or like at the end of that year. Um, my peak rank was like diamond in like two seasons. I think it was like 2014 and 2015, I think. I forget which two years, but um, in terms of coverage, I've been with Dot for over a year now. And then, like, I've been, like, following up the esports scene since, like, season three or so. So, like, maybe, like, 2013-ish yeah. about. Just about then. But, yeah. Also, a very fortuitous amount of big, or very numerous, rather. We actually met, Dylan and I met at a uh, League LAN event in New York City. Yes. Um, at Waypoint Cafe. Ended up, like, just, we had some mutual friends, and we ended up playing on a team together and won a couple of matches, which was quite fun. So, funny how this game connects people. Now we're co-workers. Yeah. <laughs> Three years later. That's so cool. Jess? Um, I'm probably the newest player here. Um, I just started playing League actually on the phone Wild Rift in April. Um, and it's been great ever since. I've played mostly with friends, um, co-ops. Um, so yeah, it's exciting to try the PC version, which is definitely the more popular version. Yeah, I think it's it's great that we have a good mix of um, players of different um, times and lengths. And yeah, for me, I started in 2015. Um, I don't remember what the champion was that came out of that time, but it felt like Volley Bear was kind of new. Um, I don't know if that's accurate or not. Uh, but yeah, I've been playing for, for six years now, and it's kind of like time is flying, but I'm always gold every season like doesn't matter how hard i try just suck at gold uh but yeah so that's that's cool um and i also wanted to talk about the different articles that we've um we put out so today for instance i pub we published an article uh looking into riot games's mobile strategy and that's something where you know what just just said is really relevant where league and riot are trying to find a new audience when it comes to um mobile, um, and I wondered if um, any of you have tried Wild Rift, um, in addition to Jess, of course, and, and what you think about 
Riot going to mobile. Yeah. As soon as Wild Rift came over to the Americas, I actually tried it myself, and then I just went straight to ranked in it. I think I played, like, ten games and I got gold, so I got the jig skin. I'm like, alright, this is a fun experience, I'm out. But it's kind of cool to see, like, more expansive ways to, like, experience League now. Like, if I could just, like, get multiple friends on PC and, like, try, like, a very, like, fun night of, like, Wild Rift, it could be, like, cool ways to try out different champions than usual. I mean, I think it's really interesting. You touched about this in your article, too, Shannon. Uh, I think it's really interesting the stories that kind of both you and Jess's experience kind of tell a little bit about League of Legends. You know, like, Dylan and I are kind of... I, I view the game in sort of, like, eras of its evolution. I think there was a really big spike in 2015 and 2016, and, and particularly Western interest, meaning Europe and North America. I, you know, the game has been predominantly quite popular since, like, 2013, 2014 in China um, in particular, and I still think it will continue. Like, it, even if I think the PC game has gone down a little bit in interest in, in the West, I think that it's continued sort of carrying itself in the Chinese market. It's such a huge popular game in China. Um, but I think that there was a, a definitely a spike in interest in that 2015, 2016 time period where you started playing Shannon. And I think that to your point about your article, part of the reason they're using all of their IP in a lot of more creative ways is to drive people to the game because that's where they're going to spend money directly with Riot, you know, buy skins, et cetera, in particularly the PC version of the game. Um, but essentially, like, trying to gateway people into the PC version of the game, whether that be by playing Wild Rift or TFT or Legends of Terror on mobile, right? All these, like, League-adjacent games um, or things like Arcane or their Marvel comic partnership or their music. Uh, they just launched this past week. They launched uh, their music department is now has, like, a full-on partnership with Spotify, which we kind of knew was coming. But, like, now there's a huge, like, library of music available for League of Legends. They're just trying to now, like, really maximize. It, it used to feel like it was very much, like, only League of Legends, and the past, like, three or four years for them has been executing probably, like, a pretty well-thought-out strategy of, like, how do we get more people into this other than hoping they stumble across it or have friends, like, in Discord communities or online that play the game and gateway them in. Yeah, that's such a good point. I think uh, Riot is definitely trying to expand beyond, like, its core group of League players because even, you know, old League players might get tired of the game and leave and then they just want to keep things fresh. And I think that's a perfect segue into your article that you wrote back when you were at ESPN about 10 years of worlds, because one of the ways that Riot tries to keep attracting League of Legends players is through esports and throwing these really splashy events every year. Um, even during COVID, it managed to throw an event in China. So I'm curious if you want to talk about your experiences, you know, reporting out that story and, you know, what that story kind of uh, signifies to you. Yeah, I I mean I think that league esports is in league's DNA in a way that it's not in a lot of other games. Um I think you would argue I think a lot of people would argue I was at a, a panel a couple years ago where Strauss Zelnick, the CEO of Take Two, two K games, so everything from Borderlands to NBA two K, um, to Grand Theft Auto is kinda in their publishing library. Um, and he like kind of took a shot during this panel um, at Blizzard and and Riot for like being so esports forward. Uh, the fact that like esports is such a big deal and like basically everything they've done, if you think about those two companies. Um, but I would argue like League is. I'm not going to give League credit for creating esports. They definitely didn't. Uh, you can make a much better like argument for a, a lot of different games, but probably StarCraft and Quake, uh, chief among those. Um, in terms of the, the early uh, 2000s, late 90s sort of birth of this industry. Um, but League has been the one that's kind of carried it to new heights in a lot of ways. It is the, the game that uh, has taken this you know, industry to Madison Square Garden and Mercedes-Benz Benz Arena in Berlin and the, the Bird's Nest in China and you know, Korean Olympic Stadium in Seoul. Um, and really like this game has reached a level of heights that I, no other game has. Um, and the ones that have come close are not getting the sort of love and developer support that Riot gives to League. Like, you know, Valve is very hands-off with Dota and Counter-Strike. Those are kind of the two other games that you think about when you think about big esports titles uh, historically. Um, 
And so, yeah, it feels like uh, kind of reporting that story all the way from the top, um, talking to people who have been there for a long time, who've been around, who previously were at Riot and are quite successful now too. Like that league and esports kind of go hand in hand from almost the very beginning. Um, you know, game came out in 2009. Uh, their esports scene was kind of started kicking off in 2011 as the first World Championship. So like, it's it's come a, a very long way. Yeah, I just love how in the article there are quotes of. You know, people at Riot discussing, you know, should we even do this? Is it even worth it? What's this going to become? And then having people slowly recognize League and, and it becoming a household name and no longer having like esports players walk by and say, what's that? I don't, I don't know what that is. <laughs> so, yeah, there, there's that moment in that piece of the Galen Center in 2012, uh, the season two world championship. It's their first, one of their first big like stadium events at uh, University of Southern California in their uh, basketball arena. And like, uh, Bridget Davison, who's quoted in that piece, she used to work at Riot. Uh, I believe now she works at Loaded still, uh, which is a big talent agency in the esports space um, and streaming space. She like walks out from behind the curtain and it's just like, like, wow, like, like what is in front of me? Like, kind of just like taken aback by like, you know, because they they had done plenty of events at that point, but they were much smaller scale than that. Um, and here we sit, almost nine years later since that moment, and like league is still chugging away and it's going to be in a big stadium this year in China again. So it's like, what you know, like it's, it's the longevity is uh, really the, the sticking point for league and league esports. I think a lot of people will say like, uh, Oh, well, like wh where can we invest in esports? Why would we do it when, you know, games change every few years, what's popular, or what isn't, but like league has kind of stood the test of time um, and hasn't really fallen I think it's gone up and down in interest, but I think it's pretty, like, there's a base level. It's never fallen under, and, and I think that's really notable. Yeah, and speaking of where League is now, I think it's also a great transition into starting to play the game and take a look at um, what's new in the game. Right now, they just released a visual novel inside of um, the game as a part of an event called Sentinels of Light, and I guess we can just check it out and see how things are. Um, I'm no longer the party leader of this group because I logged out. But if you can make me party leader, we can start a normal game. Yeah, I actually may actually have someone to fill this fifth gap. Uh, oh, let, me make you, let me make you a party owner, though. Okay. Do that. You? Yeah, feel free to invite your friend. Um, and then for the viewers tuning in, if you have other questions for us when it comes to League of Legends or even the other games that Riot has put out that we wrote about today, Runeterra, um, Teamfight Tactics, uh, let us know, and we will try to answer them. Yeah, I was gonna say I also do cover the Lizza Runeterra card game in depth. Of because um, I remember there was like a bit of a talk about like how COVID affected some of the events, and like COVID definitely did affect uh, Lizza Runeterra because right as the game got released to the public, there was like a lot of events that Riot wanted to do, but then because of how like public events got like shafted or whatever. Um, there had to be like a change of plans and more adaptability, but yeah, I think the game has been doing fairly well so far in its one year anniversary. Yeah, Runeterra is an interesting one um, because when I was writing that story that came out today, it's I, I found out that um, they wanted to make it PC only, and then once they decided that actually it's better on tablet and mobile, um, some people on the team were not happy and they left the team. Um, so that, I didn't know that beforehand, and I thought that was really interesting. Yeah, I I mean, Hearthstone has a life of its own on mobile that I think kind of just shows this level of interest that... Uh, um, has this level of interest that other games don't on that platform. So I think, like, there's a... I think Riot's, like, aggressively targeting that market. Um I wouldn't, maybe Dylan can speak to this a little bit better as someone who's covered both, but like, I wouldn't say Runeterra's made a huge dent at the moment in into Hearthstone's sort of player base, but I, I think that's kind of the goal for, for Riot. Yeah, I would say right now in the digital space, Hearthstone's like the ultimate Goliath because of like how long it's been so far. I think like 2014 or so it's been, and like their recent like six year anniversary had like an entirely new class or whatever so that drove a lot of excitement 
And then the year after that, there has been, like, more, like, ground to earth, like, story events. So, like, Runeterra is still, like, in terms of, like, viewers on Twitch and, like, esports competition, it's been a little bit more, like, still in a dormancy stage a bit. But it's been getting there because they do have like five monthly seasonal tournaments that like if you're either top 700 players on your regional server or like compete and get like a 300 win or something in like a side tournament thing you can compete out of a thousand players so that's always an exciting time so far there's been four and i've actually been participating in each one so far barely making top 32 um and the fifth one that's on its way like two months from now so it's always exciting to see like Riot like go like directly in client to like try and support an esports team. So I think like later in this year, there's gonna be uh what's his face? There's gonna be like a world championship for Lens of Runeterra as well. And like half the players have been confirmed so far based on tournament performance. Yeah, um one one sec. So the fifth player, uh did they just join our Discord? Yes. Oh, yeah, hey, what's up? Okay, sweet. I was like, who? Just want to double check. <laughs> we have like random stream crasher. This is this is my this is my buddy Julian who plays who I play Clash with. So good people oh, nice can can vouch for his. But I saw him like come on right as we were starting stream. <laughs> I was just like, um, oh yeah, something for next game, uh, Jess. By the way, since you're new to PC, um, yeah. your summoner spells uh, do not change automatically. So you're going to have to. Uh, for next game, I would say go flat, flash, uh, flash exhaust, or flash. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. I'm sort of a low level. I don't have flash. Oh, you don't. Oh, I forgot they still. I, I forgot they still gate. I forgot they still gated it. Yeah, Battle right. Rift definitely made the new player experience a lot more better and more. Yeah, I got flash. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> At the start. I love this. Oh, now we can um, like compare the two: Wild Rift versus League. And <laughs> how much worse um, League is to beginners? Oh, I mean, it's a... I've talked to my girlfriend a, a handful of times about playing. Because uh, she's been, like, she we built her a gaming computer. You guys can start my buff, by the way. I'm on the way. Please, oh. please, fine, please. Oh. Um, Should I follow anyway, you? I, um, yeah, so I, I've i talked to her a handful of times. Um, yeah, just hit this. Yes, please. Like, auto attack it. I'll tell you when to stop. All right. Um, yeah, I think that uh, Wild Rift has made things significantly easier. And I think what I was saying, like I've talked to my girlfriend about potentially playing League with me because um, she's been trying to find new PC games to play since she built one. And uh, League is just such an uphill battle. Um, I mean, community behavior is not great either to new new players. Um, yeah, which I mean, is really sad. I mean, it's the one. <laughs> like, you find so many people who are on the Smurf climb, like either playing a ram or uh, blind, and they're just like you make the like minuscule mistake, and they start flaming you, which is actually quite sad. Because <laughs> um, it's like you know there are people, especially now. Like, I think Riot's gonna have to like kind of look at that a little bit more critically because. Uh, I think it will be a problem when you have people watch Arcane for the first time on Netflix. They've never seen League whatsoever, and they decide to boot it up and try it. Right? Like, if, nobody's gonna want to play if they're just like increasingly toxic. Uh, but I also just feel like, oh, uh, Dylan, uh, oh, we have he oh, oh, was in the jungle. I think he pieced. Oh, okay, okay. But he was on my buff. Oh no, he's here. Okay, I'm away. I'm away. Yeah, so uh, for our viewers who may not know, uh, Arcane is a new Netflix show that's coming about League of Legends. I think it's an anime, right? Yes. It yeah, it's is. gonna be like 3D modeling and stuff. Oh no, I got trolled by the raptor. And recently, Netflix has made a lot of these like video game adaptations. Like Dota had its own show. Ugh. I don't know if anyone has watched that one. It's pretty good, actually. Actually, wasn't that one called Dragon's Blood or something? Or something? Um, I, I forgot the name. Think so. Yeah, I'm blanking the name too. But yeah, having not played Dota, I was like, I can kind of guess who the champions are <laughs> in this game. Yeah, it seems like Riot is diving kind of 
Oh my gosh, this E is so annoying. Uh, run southeast, run southeast. I'm there. I'm out. But he's just being really yeah. a pest, frankly. I just let it reset. I'll back. Yeah. Um, I it seems like they're just like diving into. Oh my god, he's gonna kill me if he gets Q. Um. Yeah, it seems like they're just diving into more of sort of the seeds that they've planted no. in the floor than the game itself. Um, Run away. Run away. Hey. <laughs> like the. I think the most recent trailer like outlined like Vi and. He's probably still there, Dylan. Um, it's out. Yeah. Yeah, you got the red Whatever. Whatever. Actually, I could probably go take his. I think he went blue to red. Um, but yeah, they have. Uh, They've already kind of like planted the seeds for that like sister rivalry or whatever around Bai and Jinx, and now that's what they're teasing will be part of Arcane. Yeah, looks like Arcane is more like not ever like hard confirmed, but then like right as like the first video clip for the show got released. So. Yeah. Oh, and then for viewers, I guess we should just say what we are playing. So I'm playing Misfortune, I'm down here, and then next to me is Jess playing Blitzcrank. Nice job, Dylan. Well played, well played. What's everyone else play? <laughs> I'm uh, Dylan... playing Diego, one of like the main figures of the main event right now. He's like the kind of king that put everything yeah. afoot. Diego seems really popular. He's That's very really... fun, because really... the fact that you can like take over the enemy champion and like play your opponent's champion better than them is always like a fun aspect. <laughs> but... I may be able to get her out of after I'm out of this sun. Uh, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go. On. Yeah, no, it's. it's okay. good at oh. <laughs> Almost. Good try. If, 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 no you, if you hit that, I was gonna turn around. <laughs> like okay. And then J Julian's playing Shin. Oh yeah. This game's actually a pretty mix. Balanced mix of like new champions and old champions. Too. Ah, shit. No. Yeah. <laughs> this was really funny. When I was um, interviewing Michael Chow about Wild Rift, um, he referenced like Riot had made some mistakes in the past. And I said, Oh, what kind of mistakes? And he said, Well, Rise. <laughs> rise. <laughs> yeah. is rise. Is 20 different iterations. It's kind of bonkers. Yeah. Because they can never get people to play Rise, and I think they reworked him, but still people don't want to play him. I mean, they have an issue just generally in balance. I think Riot tends to... I don't know if it's the way they communicate. I've not, I've not really quite understood what nice. the problem is exactly, but they tend to overcorrect champions and just make them incredibly strong, and then people start playing them, and then they have to nerf it because they just made it way too strong. Yeah. Uh, you saw this recently with Morgana, in particular, mm. had this issue this season. She was like, in February or March, she was had like the maybe like I want to say seventh or eighth highest clear time. Um, in it jungle, was ridiculous. Like, guy for a mage. Yeah. It before the before the patch that made her really strong again, and that she already was like viable, but nobody played her because nobody really like. It wasn't being played in pro play at that point. Like they weren't necessarily communicating that people should be trying to play that champion in that role as a jungler. And so then they overtuned her and she became the number one pick jungler for like a month. And she was really strong and really oh, annoying to play figure. against. Okay. I Come might on. be dead actually, you can let me go. Yeah, I actually don't think I can get to you. Yeah, let me go. Uh, yeah, I'll that's a good now. point. Also in the chat, um, Ro team says, the reputation for toxicity has definitely been a factor in me never trying League, but I like to give it a try at some point. Bro, <laughs> I bro, think if you I ever want to play... try the game, I would try it so you get like four friends if possible, or at least like two or three, maybe. Bro, I'll be like... one of your friends to play League with you. <laughs> Message me. <laughs> that helped me, yeah. The friends. Yeah, definitely message us if you need friends to play League. <laughs> Wait, come through, come through, come through, come kill her. Nice. Kill this one. Kill this one. Ah. Uh, I think she's out there. Yeah, she's out. Alright, we can't do it. Don't chase her. Don't chase her. Yeah. <laughs> Good try. <laughs> but yeah, another like balancing thing that Riot sometimes does, which people critique, is that sometimes like a champion gets like super powerful because of like a new item, and like oh. once that item gets oh, nerfed or whatever. Oh, unlucky. Good attempt though. 
I saw that, Shannon. You were close. Yeah, it's okay. Kai's, Kai's a ult shield. Yeah, she she ulted but that moment. Otherwise, she would have died. Yeah, you saw this problem with oh, what wait. Dylan's talking about with Divine Sunderer as well. Yeah, because there's like a super powerful item, and like some champions just abuse it very well. I'm there in two seconds. Keep fighting. Yeah, he's <laughs> he's dead. Nice. Yeah, ulti. we definitely got him and Kennen. You even got oh well we made joke. Oh okay. Really nice ulti. Oh, I think I could go. Oh, I'm, I'm dead here. I know. That's fine. Good job. Nice. Oh, it's Kennen versus Kennen. I just noticed that. Oh, no, no. Uh, I, I stole yeah, Kennen. Kennen. Oh, no, yeah. you're... Sh okay. <laughs> he, became, he became Kennen. Yeah. Came one with the Kennen. Wait, how does that work? Is that a new oh, item? Eventually, it's not Diego kills a champion. Oh, okay. They can possess them. And then get their exact items, get their exact skills. Oh, and then, yeah. like, oh, I can, like, beat them for, like, 10 time. seconds. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I haven't played actual Vigo, so I haven't seen his skills. Oh, uh, he's super fun. Yeah, they're I actually breaking into Lutz's Rune Terror as well, which is like kind of like cool. Because they like have like... They don't have the exact identity, but they bring up the idea of like his inevitability in the story. Of how he's like just covering Rune Terror. Yeah, the Rune Nation okay. event is really interesting. I think as a company, they're leaning more into war than they ever have. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, and we've definitely seen that go, uh, go wrong. I think the Seraphine thing was kind of cringe. Um, but oh, so. I mean, they like basically like created this like fake person. It, it was weird. It like, yeah, it was the basically the. Like, it was yeah. like some like uncanny valley stuff where you're like not too sure like where they're posting about certain topics. I'm, nice I job. The windows, I think. Can you run? Yeah, run the B Jacob. Yep. 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 Oh, Kennen's here. Oh, wait. Are you able to do anything here? Nah, almost. I'm just gonna get myself out. I think I had a bit more health I could have maybe done. That's fine, at least we but... got a return on the E. Yeah. Um. Very close. Also, Jess, I just want to check on how you're doing in PC. <laughs> I played two, two games yesterday, so I'm kind of getting the controls. Okay. Hopefully, I'm just following you, so that's also helpful. Yeah, I think you're. I think you're doing a good job. What did? How did they like match us against these people? Cause like I'm level five and we go some hundred levels. They uh, try to do their best to get there. like new players, like in a group to like other new player groups. But since there's not gonna be that many like new players, it's like they just do what they can. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, that is a problem. Yep. It is, especially though, because we have four, uh, four other people who have played the game a significant amount of time to <laughs> not, not helping the case. Yeah. Yeah, I also just find that, like, even if you oh, play shit. the game at a low level. Um... Not... Wait, I can flank from behind. If you yeah, guys sure. Play. Oh, cover this. this Kaisa is not great. Yeah, Kaisa I think she not... might be a beginner, too. Yeah. <laughs> Her positioning is a little, little sketch. Oh, you're still going. Oh my god, okay. Uh, I thought I tried. Nah. Yeah. yeah, we can't get that, but we, we can, can get, get dragon. the dragon. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I found that even if you're um, playing the game as a beginner, sometimes the people who are also beginners are like their their account is low level, but they're not actually beginners. And they're, they're Smurfs. Smurfs. Yeah. <laughs> they're Smurfs. Yeah, those yeah, are the people just... I was talking about. The flame flame people, like Jess, uh, in this game early on. It's like some dude who's. Played the game for nine years and is leveling a second account. Let's get her. Hard Let's get her. All right, never mind. Okay. R. I. P. Uh, oh. When I was playing new games, uh, people would play it a long time. They made new accounts. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> smurf. Learn, yeah. Yeah, that's what a I, smurf is. I have a smurf, but I'm not toxic on my. Oh, smurf. Let's start those heralds. We won't be able to get it to get plates, but we can still just get the herald. Uh, I have no smite. It's the only thing. We could do so the. We, do. we could kill the eye to get the secure. Yeah, we just need to be a little careful. Yeah. We can actually cut Kennen too, because he also uses teleport. Oh, yeah, let's, the go, eye. let's go, Grand Kim. Uh, careful, bot side. Oh, whoa! Oh, he face-checked to put a ward down. Oh, so close. 
I could have maybe threaded the needle with Grog Assault there. Yeah. Yeah, it's cool. A good attempt. Uh, Matthew you had a tough set. Okay, that so... That should be good. I guess we should also say... I mean, we can, we can also engage on this. Assuming someone watches this and doesn't know what this game is, what is our objective here? We gotta take down the enemy base. Okay. Wait, for a second. Oh, sorry, you're in the middle of this fight. <laughs> I think oh, I no. though. Did I grieve? No, no, I didn't grieve. Didn't grieve. You are doing very well, well Let's there. go, baby! Good um, stuff, uh, man. Yeah. But we can get the tower here for sure. I'm gonna drop the Herald. Potentially, every lane has like a bunch of towers, and our goal is to uh, take down those towers to get to the base, and take down the Nexus that's like over there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, just run away. Tower defense game, basically. Yeah. <laughs> You should probably re return to the base. Yeah. Uh, top tower gone. First tower for us too. Beautiful. Yeah. Good job. Nice. You got the second charge too, and then also Shen's getting mid lane, which is pretty nifty. Good rotation. You might be able to get actually the tower here. Yep. I got you. Okay, let's leave. We're out. I can't no really tell. Reason. Is this? Is this game pretty even? Uh, I would say so, so, yeah. Like, top half of the map is, like, by Diego, who is... <laughs> Dylan. Uh, <laughs> Dylan. <laughs> I, I, think, I think we're... I mean, we have two dragons. I think we're slightly ahead in gold. We're doing pretty I'm well. Fine. Okay, so... You can try oh. to pull them, and if you miss, then just run away. Ah. Ooh, okay, let's leave. <laughs> let's just leave. <laughs> oh, shoot. oh, no. Didn't leave fast enough. They're coming for you. I know, they are. They're gonna aim their um, long range skill, too. But, uh, this is a free kill here. Yeah. <laughs> coming for this. She's they like, might not oversight, but if they do, I'll actually. I'm gonna start walking down now. She's so literally like leaving. She was literally proxying at one point. Yeah. Actually. I'm just gonna farm. It me all the way up to the second tower. I should back here. I'm actually so glad we have Oh, shit. if I ulted sooner, I would have got a kill. My brain didn't quite get there in time. I'm actually so glad we have Shin Viego against Master Yi. I hate that champion. So Viego is a new champion. Set is relatively new. Yeah, yeah so that's like about like a year and a half or two years old now at this point. Yeah, and then the other champions that I see here are all old, except for I guess Kaisa. Kaisa, Kaisa is like two or three, two and a half years oldish, I think. Yeah, like all probably the other three, I think maybe even because she came out with like the first KDA uh, line. That was two thousand and nineteen or eighteen. Nineteen. Yeah. So they can see you clearly. Oh. <laughs> I guess yeah. I. Okay. Oh, run away, run away, gonna... run away. Wait, no, that was 2008. Uh, that was 2018. That that seems like so much longer because uh, true damage was 2019 worlds. Oh, true damage. Okay, yeah, that means. Yeah, 2018. Yeah, yeah. That seems like it does. They kind of all blend together with as much league as I've watched and covered. But yeah, that was 2018 was good, yeah. I mean, just the fact that you can remember what date a champion came out, or what approximate year they came out. It's like awesome. general guesstimates. <laughs> yeah, I remember... I can't remember Ow. what champion came out when I started playing, but I can remember, like, when I played, when I played, like, went from, like, playing a little bit to playing a lot, I generally remember, like... <laughs> How do I oh, get out? What? So... Bottom is getting destroyed. Jess, let's walk up and kill them. Let's go. <laughs> okay, come on, come on. Yeah. Darius Someone stops that from backing. When I started oh, I playing. <laughs> I remember the first champion I played and the first champion I fought. I remember the first champion I made. I falling? Yeah, follow me, follow me, follow me. I remember okay. the first champion I mained. I don't remember the first champion that was out when I started playing like super hardcore. So what was the first champion that you made, by the way? Friend of Mirror. Can you pull this guy? Oh, I Friend of Mirror. 
So fun fact about Trindamir is he's named after the co-founder of Riot. Mark Merrill, yes. Yeah. Can I 1v3 this? Same, same, same I don't, I don't the, know if you can. Kaisa has three kills. Zero same. I have ten. Same with, the, same with Rise, by the way. Rise is also named after a Riot co-founder. The other mm -hmm. one, Brennan Beck. Oh uh, yeah. I'm getting great. And then I learned um, the executive producer of Runeterra, Jeff Shu. His username was Cassidan, and so the champion ah, okay. Cassidan is named yeah, after yeah. him too. There's a few few of those, uh, like Morella Namicon is named after a riot designer, Morella. Um, yeah, what what is everyone's uh, first champion that they played or mained? I played Hecarim first, and then um, I fought the Stonics. I like the idea of jumping around. I played a lot For me, it was uh, Nunu. Oh, I remember, yes. I remember I used to build uh, boots and five Rabadon stuff caps because I didn't know. That is <laughs> hilarious. Oh my god. Wait, you said Lulu or Nunu? Nunu. Nunu. Oh, okay. I was like, five oh, Rabadons on Lulu would be okay. <laughs> Good old Nunu troll. You're not, yeah, you're not, you're not having fun. I'm having fun. Yeah, oh, old, old Nunu Snowball was my favorite. Is E. Oh, oh yeah, the target. He looks light. like. Oh, okay, I'm out of here. Oh, yes. Bye. <laughs> Your sacrifice is much appreciated. I didn't know flash. <laughs> oh, the sun. He should die for that if he gets the kill. Oh, so close. Oh. Right at it. No. Very close game. I almost got them. Does anyone see this one HP cannon who just lived? Right yeah, yeah, I, I, I saw know. that. <sighs> I, I don't want to chase him though. Actually, do you want to do you want a two man Baron right now, Jacob? I can TP over there. And, uh, a bit yeah, there. sure. Okay, three man, perfect. Because Jacob's yes. not that bulky; he only has. No, yeah, I'm, I'm AP. I'm AP. <laughs> the fat, the fat boy is not fat. Like, I can drop a pink board actually, so you can teleport to it. But I'm gonna yeah. push up mid real quick. On my way now. I don't know if I, I think the only champion I still play, like, pretty actively that I played a lot when I first started playing was Nocturne. I played oh. a lot of Nocturne in Season 3 and 4, yeah. I know I played a lot of them oh, yeah, in 4, I'm trying to remember how much I played in Season 3. Yeah, oh, Nocturne shot. is really cool. I used to be super scared of him when I started this game, <laughs> because he just makes everything dark and then you yeah. don't know where he's coming from. He's a he's a liability. There's a handful of champions. Yi included in this. Yi included in this. Oh yeah, this this uh this Kaisa is new. She's heal heal ghost. Okay, thank no. you for dying for me again. Oh wow. <laughs> oh no, there's another person right here. Right here, here, here. Just do it. Just do it. Just do it. Just do it. I was gonna live, but there's Master Yi in our jungle. I'm waiting. Oh, no. oh no. Okay, the she's bad. Now we can bear. Got him. Yeah, now we can bear. <laughs> We're being carried by these three people. On our team. Thank you. <laughs> no problem. Carrying half my job. It's literally just us two dying and then they're gonna be like crushing the rest of the team. <laughs> Much appreciated. Should we go? Are we still sticking uh, to our just lane? Go top lane, yeah. No, top let's lane? go here. Okay, oh, yeah, following. So that's one thing that um, Wild Rift doesn't explain in tutorials, is what are you supposed to do in the middle of the game? Yeah, I had no idea. I only relied on other people to tell me that. Yeah, and then I asked uh, Michael Chow, he's like, that's on purpose because then you have to figure it out yourself and that could be fun. Ooh, it's, not, it's not fun though. They don't do a <laughs> talking about the, the strategy of the game for new players. Right, is it fun? Which, that's is, why, which is why, by the way, half this like half of low elo like uh, everyone under plat like half of them just do what you call run it down which literally <laughs> just like they just keep going mid a tower gone run it down like they're actually ridiculous oh god dylan i would say that's like north american gameplay is just run it down <laughs> yeah i mean it, even at the professional level 
Run it down. Adam, wait, can I get a penta? Wait, oh, a second. Uh, penta. Surrender. Where's the other guy? Oh, they surrendered. Yeah. That quickly, even though they're crushing bottom. Line. Okay. I mean, I'll <laughs> take that. Tops out of the map. That E had like that E had like what, like seven deaths, eight deaths, or something. It was like yeah. one or one and eight and two and eight, something like that. I just gotta give up a couple of kills to keep the game exciting. Keep it interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Cool. Okay, I think we have time for one more game. <laughs> oh, you got an S on Viego. Nice job. Thank you, thank you. Uh, someone said <laughs> I didn't tilt. Thank you. <laughs> Two people <laughs> said I didn't tilt. <laughs> That's one thing on um the mobile game is even if you lose, you can get an SVP. So you like still get an oh, I always push for those SVPs. Like, even if my team's bleeding a lot, I'm like, damn, I'm going to do my best for this. What do you think SVP stands for? Senior Vice Pro... No, right? <laughs> I think it was Second Valuable Player, if I recall correctly, or something. Oh, Second Valuable. Okay. I could be wrong. It's been a while since I played Wild Rift last. I, like, played to get a Glorious Jinx, and after I hit gold, I'm like, I'm done. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I haven't have played... That's one thing I wanted to ask Jess as well, is like, I was playing Wild Rift a lot, and then I had to keep taking my phone case off because my phone case was too large, and then I kept dropping my phone, and I just cracked my phone a bunch, and I was like, this is not worth it, so I stopped playing. You were wilding! <laughs> I don't know what you were doing. Does Wild, Rift, does Wild Rift scale well on tablet? Because that's my one complaint with TFT, is is uh, they don't have like a good TFT iPad app. It's the iOS app for a phone that you do, like the like iOS like screen enlarge thing, and it's kind of wonky. Does, does Wild Rift have, has anybody played it on a tablet? A of, yeah, a ton of my friends played it on like an iPad, and it was all right. Like, I think the joystick's really good, and... Um, there's an option to like tap click or like to drag and like aim your your attack. So there are different ways to play. Oh wow! I know I yeah, can I do have... like I can do the mobile controller thing on my phone with a PlayStation controller. Um, but I feel like a MOBA would be really bad with that. MOBAs are not good on controllers generally. I mean, really some well. MOBAs are played on consoles, yeah. Like I know there's like the new Pokemon MOBA, and I heard good things about that one. Mm -hmm. I heard it's uh, in a testing phase right now in Japan, so if you just set your region to Japan, you can try it out now. But yeah, I haven't done it yet. Yeah. I had a couple of friends in my card game circle try it out and said they like it. I just like the idea of Pokemon having like different skins and costumes. Like, you'd think they would have adapted that into the main series like a long time ago for like more Pokemon, but they're kind of starting to do it now with the mobile at least. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, but I should definitely give um, TF, uh, not TFT, Wild Rift a try on tablet. I'm kind of curious. Would you play League if it came to Council? <laughs> no. Probably not seriously, but I could have like one day of just having silly goose fun with my friends. Mm -hmm. I tried. I tried Counter Strike on Council when that was a thing in the Xbox 360 generation, and it was awful. Awful compared to PC, it did not translate well at all. What do I want yeah. to play now? You're playing Yone? Yeah, sure, I'll play Yone. Speedy Horseman. Oh, yeah, Jess, uh, change, change your summoners. No, uh, to, remember do, you have ignite? Have do you have Ignite at least? Or no. do you have Ignite? Ignite. Or ignite exhaust. Locked. No, I don't have it. I don't oh, have you it. You have Exhaust. Yeah. Just use Exhaust. I have exhaust. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. That's such BS that they don't they don't give people flash early. They should all be unlocked. I definitely use too much flash and I'm playing the mobile version. Well flash is like flash is the summoner spell basically. Like it yeah, all like, like ninety eight percent of champions like run it. Use with flash. like a fringe couple of that are like Hey, yeah. like the one I'm playing right now does not yeah. use it because he's so fast he doesn't need it. <laughs> Get out. We have yeah. a movement speed ability. I wonder if that's like related to you know how Wild Rift doesn't have a tutorial for like the mid game and maybe it's flash would be too easy for a beginner player to be caught in dangerous situations so they're like, hey, try to play without flash. <laughs> I mean, no, but, but even in like, like it's okay for her, but, but I feel in, like, like if, Wild Rift at least. I feel like if you queue, if like just queued alone, solely alone for this, I I'm wondering how many times, for example, 
you would get double laner and not jungler and low because that was a thing mm. that was a big thing when i was like climbing my smurf account i noticed that like people just don't play jungle like up until like level 10 15 right like, yeah and i think so another just, reason like, why they line. still have like this very old system for like summoner spells is because like league back in the day was not really that free to play friendly in my opinion like this was back when you had to like buy runes, buy rune pages, oh, yeah. and like do all like different like masteries or whatever, and so it was like a bit unwelcoming. Like they improved a lot since then. Like now there's like the runes and masteries are all like one thing, and like they're all free, which is pretty good. But I think a lot of it's just like some old world systems just need to be like updated to like make it yeah. more accommodating to newer players. Yeah. We have a double Hecarim game. This should be interesting. Oh, great. I hate Hecarim on the other team. Oh, that's fine. Um, yeah, one thing is, I think on Wild Rift, I don't actually see that many junglers. Maybe people, people don't even um, jungle. They just go into the lane. That's I'm very surprised rule selection hasn't happened yet for Wild Rift and Ranked. I feel like it's kind of like the Wild West, where like people just like call lane, and they don't care about pick order or call order. <laughs> Like, if they call it second, they'll be like, oh, I'm higher. But if they, like, uh, are lower, they're like, oh, I'm, I'm, uh, I called it first. But yeah, it's like the best to play multiple roles, where you're just like, whatever, just get your best role. I, I kind of do wish they had a little bit more tutorial about, like, game transitioning phases, though, because bot games don't really help you. Like, bots don't, bots but don't, like, play. try, bot, yeah, bots don't really, like, try to engage you in, around objectives as much as they probably should, like, Honestly, like the, I, I wish the bots were more difficult and they just like straight up like rush dragon and try to get soul point, right? Like I actually think that'd be useful. Like if you like if yeah. they get if they get soul and just run you over, like you probably <laughs> you probably like Yeah, uh, in my opinion, at that point, like you kind of feel like uh you have to start taking it, which is a good instinct. <laughs> like if it's up, you take it, you know. Yeah. I'm curious, when you when you started learning, did you play by yourself or as a team with like some other people. I played with one other person generally, a friend of mine, but I didn't play with a full five stack. You actually you... tend to get better players when you play in a five stack, which mm. probably could be worse for your learning Ooh. experience. Yeah, I, I've played with like two people, three people, four people. What I found was a lot of the people I originally played with, um, they stopped playing with me because they're like, you're so, so bad, I can't play with you. Yeah. <laughs> so I had to make new friends. No, I, I have a lot of people I play the I I have played this game with and that I am friends with. I refuse to play with them because they're just bad behaved. Like just yeah. up mean mean to people. Like it's one thing to get frustrated with someone if they're like being toxic in chat and like like you want to tell them off, but it's different to just like, man, you're so garbage. Like just like, especially <laughs> like especially in things like blind pick, like where there's no stakes, like norms, just generally, like who cares? It's a normal game. Like there's something about this game no that stakes. brings it out in people. Yeah, we're, oh, we were talking about it's, that. It's because you're all trapped together. It's like you're trapped together in this experience for like 30 minutes or whatever. <laughs> and so, yeah, like if I saw the shark community, I kind of just like would rather someone like if they play bad, it's 100 percent cool. But if they're like acting bad, it's so annoying because then you have to like play like the therapist role. Oh, yeah, yeah. Exactly. It's like, oh no, it's okay. You're the best player. Just, just keep your <laughs> head on your shoulders. You basically or you are to, their therapist. You have to try to like philosophically talk them down from yeah. The point of <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like a hostage situation. It's like, please <laughs> don't throw That's the so game. I, 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 this. On on my climb this year, from I I did almost all my climb from uh I think I got placed like silver or bronze one all the way up to gold my entire climb like i would do most of it alone and i would just spam like good job good job good job like positive reinforcement <laughs> to do. <laughs> like you see like you see somebody on the other side of the map nothing to do with you they get like a double kill <laughs> oh my god you're so good like yeah like, <laughs> you have to like gas them up to make sure they like don't just i do that people... too there are people that like tilt in while winning, which is like the most confusing yeah. part. Like they get angry while they're like, <laughs> yeah. Well. Some people they're like doing well. They're like, you know, I'm carrying this team. Like without you, trash. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like, wait, but what? <laughs> Have you um also noticed sometimes um 
if you suggest that you want to surrender, then other people would just say no to spite you. But if <laughs> they surrender, you're like, no, I don't want to surrender. They're like, no, surrender now or I'm going to AFK and I'm not going to come hostage, back. Hostage taking is the first part of that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Dylan, he's dead. He's dead. He's dead. Good hey. job. Yeah, I've been uh, making myself very low health on purpose. Not because I'm playing bad, but to bring you over. Ah, uh, yes. Would you say that League is a team sport? Oh, for sure. Like, I mean, five Vera, individuals yes. is a lot weaker than five people, like, playing mm -hmm. as a unit. It is but a team the, sport, the problem but League, though, is, like, yeah. it's very hard to make a team if you're, like, new and by yourself. Like, if you don't have friends, it's, like, gonna be difficult finding that, like, initial jumping off point to find people to vibe with. You know, I found it up in Facebook groups of all things. Actually, like this was a huge thing at the beginning. The beginning of my time playing, That's like right. quite a lot in season two and season three. Like I, I honestly just found people in Facebook groups, and I still talk to some of them from time to time. Um, you know, I had the one friend of mine who played a lot, but other than him, like we didn't really know that many people that played, and the player base was a lot smaller back then. Um, and yeah, but yeah, we found like League of Legends Facebook groups, like not even official ones. It's not like they were run by Riot. They were just like communities we picked up and I like found a handful of people Keep to running. play with. Used to play in like MOBA fire tournaments with some of those people back when those were a thing. Oh, yeah. Wow. Tournaments. Not that I was any good at them at all. I remember one of the guys I met in a Facebook group, him and him and I did my first climb from out of bronze into silver and it was such a big deal for me. Like season four i thought it was a oh yeah i remember yeah. the first time i hit silver i was so excited over the moon <laughs> man i remember the game too like it was like a movie or something like the match that got me into silver I was <laughs> oh. really That's yeah. so fun. I yeah, I no hp no i played i played nothing but warwick and nocturne basically all the way up to silver wow was... <laughs> those champions are this is so yeah. awful to play against the old Warwick too, back when he was like, he was actually so trash before he had like the Q dad. He was bad. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, you're there already. Wow, it's so fast. Okay. The teleport. Okay. Once that black shield goes down, do you have Q? Do you have Q? Actually, Jacob, uh, can you hold in mid? I'm gonna go top real quick to mm, cover the teleport. Mm, this, so is getting, this is getting spicy, down, but I'm just okay. gonna. Oh, no, I think I'm dead. Dead. <laughs> oh, like oh, the, oh, she's got a green. Nice. Oh, I'll play, I'll play. Y'all saw him get a green, though, so be mindful. Not... Him, I messed that yeah. up. Y'all saw could be joining because he's been missing for a minute for a bit. I'll tax you. I'll tax you, Shannon, and I'll leave. Okay, thanks. Pay your taxes. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I'm gonna go back mid, though. I remember the first time I ranked, I was actually, everyone told me, like these friends who no longer play with me told me I was going to be bronze. And I was like, okay, I, I guess I'll be bronze. And then I wasn't bronze. I was actually, uh... I guess I'll kill Garen first before we like them. We can just concede this dragon. If yeah, we can I have to. I have to. Yeah. Ooh. Fun. It's only first dragon, even if it's one that's fun. Are they How many there? games do you have to play to get bronze? Uh, so you have to, like... Like, instead of, like, Wild Rift, like, you, like, go to rank super quickly. Yeah. Like, in League, you have to, like, get to level 30. You have to have, like, a good amount of the champions. I think it's, like, 20 or something. Wild Rift just gives you, like, so many to begin with. But there's just, like, the extra, like, you have to have, like... I, I guess a... 21, maybe. I don't know. And there is a new tier or two that didn't exist back then. Iron, which is even worse than Bronze. So... <laughs> yeah. Iron? I also had another it. one where it's like emerald, like after platinum, I think. Well, because origi originally there were originally there were so many well, people that like were you. there were so many people that were bronze four, like the worst or bronze five, the worst rank in the game that they had to create a whole nother tier, because there were so many people that just like sat in the worst part of the game because they were just terrible. I mean, I know like oh. I know like forty five year old dads that play this game who are just like hard stuck, low iron. Mid iron, like no joke. Like, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm wood wood tier though. Yeah, yeah. That's the tier. That's that's Someone what we used. To, that's what we used to. That's what we used to call 
bronze bronze five this wood tier because there wasn't anything lower. <laughs> now there's iron. Now there's iron. Yeah. If you like ask if uh, League is a team sport, try playing rank flex alone while stuck in iron. <laughs> you can't get out. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> So well, I said ideally earlier. Ideally, the League is a, a team game. In practicality, not so yeah. much. I'm coming, go in. This guy's dead. He's... 100%. Yeah, people usually advise me not to play uh, the role that I'm playing, ADC, because you need, like, a dual partner, and if you're playing alone, then it's just impossible to climb up. It is a hard climbing role, yeah. No. I don't Oh, shit. Well, it's also, it's also like the, in my opinion, ADC's like been in a bad state for a couple seasons now. But oh. It's, just, it's actually, uh, actually hard. Know. Actually I'm hard dead. to carry dead. in. <laughs> Very close to killing it, unfortunately. ADC is a really hard role to carry in as well, just because, like. It's also very meta depending. So you're sometimes, so like, you rely on your support like an Arden Sensor meta, but then sometimes, like, ADs have, like, very high priority, like, Jin or Kaisa, and you're like, oh, okay, I could probably do something if my support's not the greatest player. Yeah. Honestly, the <laughs> Tristana and Kaisa, I play, I, that's my secondary role. Anytime I play AD in ranked, <laughs> that's what I play, because <laughs> those two champions are so self-reliant. Like, like, I don't need you to be good, I just need you to exist. Just give them something else to hit. Not me. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I'm trying to sneak this one, but they very, very well may be aware. Uh, I have been prior. Oh, they, they definitely are aware. Oh, wait, oh, never mind. Crap. Wait a second. Uh, run southeast, run southeast. Bot's missing. Um, hello? Oh, they're here. Oh. I got him. Yeah, I'm not really sure what he Good. was doing uh, there. Yeah. My bad. I didn't think it was actually gonna run to Herald, I do. Oh wait. Okay, we got it. I took the gushers. The gushers. I'm gonna, <laughs> roll up. I'm gonna use that. Actually, can you drop it real quick in mid? Oh shit. Yeah, we can. Let's look at the place. We can actually probably get like one or two plates even before them. We're getting carried again by Dylan. <laughs> Oi! I appreciate it. <laughs> Ah, oh, shoot. Not I'm again. just gonna leave. I just wanted to get that. Out we go. Yeah. So just a quick intro to my champion, Jess. I don't know if you've seen Varus before. It's like uh, a Cupid. Oh, well, that's my skin. <laughs> oh, okay. I got, I got the skin for, for him. I was like, this is the best looking skin. So I, have to, I just try to like make all my champions look the best they could possibly look. Anyway, um, so the ultimate skill uh, R is actually just to snare them, mm -hmm. so I can kind of stop them from killing you when they come back here. Oh, okay, let's do. Hecarim is bot. It also tethers though too. If you hit it and like there are a bunch of people clump together, it will go from one to the other and just like continually stun people. Yeah, kind of like Malzahar's um, space. I don't know what the skills actually are. Well, oh, yeah, what, what is the uh, what is the non-controversial name? For yeah, that? <laughs> I was like, there's also another grass. Okay, oh. we should watch out. Oh, oh nice old. Yeah, game. got him. <laughs> got him. You we're got him? I snared him, but uh, we're not gonna go in for that again. Ellen, can you run? Uh, I'm gonna take the plates here. Oh he's shoot! Com he's coming up to you. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. ready. He's right here. Okay, we can collapse on him. Come on now. I just minded that away from him. Yep. Yeah. Actually, I'm gonna leave real quick. Uh, we can go bot. We can go bot. I'm pretty sure we can go bot. Do something here. Okay. Do, 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 do. Nope. 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 I'll just oh, take oh, the ward. Oh, they're over I'll here. Just take, I'll just take the ward. That's fine. They might be. This might be warded too. We're good. We're good. Clear it if you can. Oh, I barely missed. I don't have a... Do you have a control board, Jess? Mm. Uh, four? Is that here? No, no, no. she doesn't. She doesn't. Oh, you, no. have to, you have to buy it. It's 75 gold. Okay, I don't have that. That okay. is another... Vision is another thing they don't 
explain. Yeah, they don't. Well. They don't explain it at all. Okay. I feel like um, the best way to learn League is just watching esports watching and other people, yeah. reading. Um, uh, there's two subreddits, but I like oh. to follow. Summoner School. School. Yep. Yeah. Okay, I got the for you guys. Tips. Oh, watch out, watch out, watch out. <laughs> Let's just leave. It's fine. Okay. You, you won't die. They could be running up to you, Jacob, as a by the by. I suppose you're gonna yep, stand yep, the yep. there. Oh, they're there, yeah. I'm yeah, so, all right. I'm, gonna have, I'm gonna have to drop it. I'm gonna have to drop it. But, yeah. TP in. We, we might be able to get some cleanup kills here. I have I have ulti. One right now. Oh, I'll go oh, good. Good job. Well played. <laughs> oh. oh, I'm dead. I'm alive. Okay. I I. Uh... Okay, I should be dead. Yeah, I think you're. Uh, yeah, you might just want to focus her. I think you're kind of dead no matter what you do. Oh, you have a. You can get the Meganar. Nice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice job. Billy. Might not be enough numbers though. Nice job, Billy. Yeah, there's too many people there. Yeah. So Very close. That's so good. Nice try. Control wood. Hmm. Yeah, it's kind of sad how much the community has had to do to teach people this game <laughs> versus actually riot themselves. That's true. I mean, Wild Rift has some tutorials in, like, the tutorial menu, but it's, like, not hit- it's, like, hidden very well from the, like, people for some reason. Especially newer players. Yeah, I was so- I was surprised how much goes into this game. Like, I'm still learning new things. I think everyone is, too, because they patch it so often. So it's kind of like, everyone's in this constant state of adapting to it. Very close. Yasuo's yeah, on his way, but he's zero and five. Yeah, okay, he's back out of ward. Oh, what, what is this guy doing? <laughs> he's just chilling. Oh, no, you, oh, you, should leave, you should leave. You should leave. It's okay. Oh. You you reset his gold. It's nice worth gold again when I kill him. It's perfect. You practically got on purpose. Flex. Oh my god. Yeah. Um, are they gonna dive you? I was about to say, if they dive, they're toast. Uh, my bad, I should have let them dive. I no, 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 it's fine. It's fine. Actually, come up. Play up, play up, play up. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna gank this. I'm gonna go over the wall. No, no, no. Go through lane. Like, like either let them push <laughs> up for you. Bait him. Yep. Yep. Jinx. I'm jinx. baiting them by naturally go just. On like, go on, Jinx. Oh, oh my god. Guns. Not enough strength. Oh my god, they got us both. <laughs> no. It's okay, I'll hunt her down. Oh, everyone's no. down? Oh, you yeah, should yeah, leave. Run, run. No. You should, no. You should get out of there. Uh, <laughs> um, it's gonna be mega annoying. It's okay. That's alright. <laughs> gotta keep the game exciting. Last one was the surrender. We gotta actually get the Nexus. You're very optimistic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's... Look, I'm, I'm actually gonna run bottom now. Watch. Jinx is gonna get the tower. They're, ba they're basically an all AD team. So... Yeah, 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 yeah. Watch this. Watch this. You ready? I mean, so are we. But. Just oh, that's true. I didn't even know. <laughs> <notice. laughs> Whoa! There Whoa! Told you. There you go. That one's for the highlight reel. Yeah. Okay. We are definitely gonna yeah. make one. Yeah. Yeah. Ban Yone. We, we, we just we just play around me and then we'll. Uh, ban we'll Ban Yone. <laughs> We actually, we did a show match against the DOT crew, Dylan and myself included, did a show match against Upcomer. And, uh, yeah, they, like, didn't ban Yone. They were really stupid, and Dylan just carried two games back-to-back. -back. And uh, then we played Vin the following, like, <laughs> or, like three weeks later. And Yone, Yone was perfectly literally, banned. Literally every game. Wow. Yeah, I wish we had more um, league players at the Washington Post. We could do another. We could do a, a team oh, against your team. Show, I, I was about to say, I'd love to show match you guys if if you had more people that played. Yeah, we only have four people total. Maybe. It doesn't have to be monster people. There are other people throughout the company who are nerds and play. Yeah. I, I, I need to be good for like different game show matches. Like, that's also true. I'm down to do yeah. something else other than league too. Oh yeah, we could do Valorant. For sure. We could probably find five people playing Valorant. Not 
esports as Valorant team is very bonkers. Uh, it's too good. Have it. We have okay. a lot of FPS players. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Our our di director of video is a former semi pro level player of Counter Strike 1.6. So. Okay. <laughs> Nobody said we had to win, so it's <laughs> we'll just be there to like to, to uh, be like the begin beginner warm up. Warm -up Dragon, Dragon's about to be up. Oh wait, we a second. Fight, we should actually fight this one. Are you dead? Oh no no no! I'm, oh, they're kind of oh, dead. They're oh, kind of dead. Oh, yeah, yeah they're a little dead now. And for some reason, they were just right behind me. Very unlucky, but. Oh, we should it's watch. It's okay, it's okay. Three dragons is all they got. They only got three. We'll get yeah, the next one. We're going to have to fight literally every single dragon. Yeah. Um, so, Jess, we should run away. They're going to be in the area. And they're... Yeah, they're going to be like here, most likely. Oh, okay, I see. Or even yep. here. Yep. Called yep. it. Yep. yep. I used to be so shocked when I started learning this game. I was like, oh, jump scared from all the enemies popping up on me. <laughs> I want to kill this jinx. Why is the other Hecarim going Triforce? I see this monster trying to carry. I'm on my way to you, Dar. I take the, the jinx ulti for you. Uh, Sunder is so much better. Gar oh shoot. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Yeah, watch out. Yeah, yeah. I probably can't do anything. Oh. Okay. Yeah, they're a little bit more potent than he's, I thought. He's so fast, too. So. Yeah. This guy is really thirsty. Uh, I'm sorry, I can't help you. It's okay. Oh, you're alive, okay. He was he was very, they also flash tornadoed. He was very thirsty. Okay. I'm up in five seconds, and I have my second item, so hopefully it's enough to uh, win the game. Nice hook. Uh, Julian, we we going? Yep. Garrett's on his way bottom lane. Oh, yeah, okay. just back off there. Okay. It's fine. We harassed. Push him off. Okay, Where are you Yasuo's backing in that bush. Nice. Yasuo's so bad, it makes it makes me sad for losing to him. Because he's actually awful. That's cool. I'm here to try and get a... I just killed, I killed him for good measure. Hey, uh, we can kill Garen on that one. I guess <laughs> okay. not. Hey. That's fine, I'll back and help them. I just wanted to kill that Yeso. He looked like he was getting a little too overconfident. He deserved to die. I also think one thing people don't learn about this game is how to play from behind when you're losing. Yep. We just keep trying to team fight over and over and over again rather than play for picks. Or if they yeah. just mentally surrender sometimes too. I mean, we could go Baron here. Yeah, 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 down. Bears, down down for 30. Let's, Let's go. go. Yeah, let's okay. go for Ben. Drinks down for okay. 30. You should recall, yeah, the recall completed. Just brush it. Jumps down this red thing. I mean, no, they're just... gonna know. We're gonna yeah, know. Gonna know. Oh, okay. <laughs> just go. All right. We're, we're, we're behind quit. enough. We should take a risk. Okay, well, they know. I'm coming, yeah. He's gonna try to fear me, I think, and... I have a heal. Kill him. Yeah, yes. kill! Job, Clean! Good job, team. Oh, uh, get the Garen, get the Garen. Yeso, 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 Yeso. Yeso? I got him. Nice job, Dylan. Good job. Bo good job, Bozzy. Maganor? Hey! It's the slam. <laughs> got him. Let's go. Good oh, job. Oh, she's back. I would. I would, I would uh, very much run, run away, run away, bait her over here. Oh, okay, oh wait, you got it, you got it. 
I gotta keep the game exciting. Gotta let them get ahead, and then bam. Dylan, are you smurfing on us? Wow. No. <laughs> I'm just Dragon's a humble up. player. Oh, yeah, we gotta get the dragon for sure. Yeah, we have have to go. I'm gonna back now. We'll have the chance okay. to buy. Should we get the next? Uh, uh. Uh, clear. Let's clear bot wave real quick. Just push it out. I'll follow you. Yeah, follow yeah. Hecarim. Really? Let's go. Just get this so it's not gonna stress us out while we're trying to do this. Alright, let's go. Okay, there's a ward right Can here. Yeah. Alright, is it in the back? Right here, yeah. They're gonna push up mid in the meantime. I'm gonna. I'm going to. Oh wait, I oh, crit. Boy. I, got, I got ulti. Oh boy, I'm dead. Oh my god. No, oh, we're all dead. Oh my god. Oh, actually, are we all dead though? <laughs> wait a second. Dylan? Oh, nice, Julian. Holy crap. <laughs> wait, let's try and come back. Come back. Oh, wait, where? But I'm. Uh, no, no, well, you can you can go back. You can go back. You can go back. Yeah, don't die. Okay. <laughs> oh, he's done. Got him. Nice job. Wow. Is this our? Are we Maybe. crawling back? Yeah, we're, we're gonna come back. I'm as amazed. long as I don't turn off my brain, I think we have this. <laughs> I'm usually like, if I die, then the game's over. I don't know. <laughs> like if you play <laughs> most games. Oh, like, if we die, it's just over. <laughs> I was so scared for one second. <laughs> that was very close. Yeah. Once I get this item and I'm have the gold for it now, I get close to unkillable. Wow. The other thing they don't teach very well, even with the new system, is itemization. Here, watch out over here. They try, they try to teach you how to itemize decently, but... I got you. <laughs> watch out, watch got out, him. watch out. Let's leave, leave, leave. Yeah, let's leave. Leave, 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 Yeah, turn around, actually. Jess, and try to help. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's- oh my god, I saw Hecarim, I was like, is that the enemy Hecarim, though? <laughs> Forever oh, stunned. That didn't work. Oh, there was something there. Yeah, that's back- I wanna buy. Yeah, and now- now purchase. we can back up. Back, back up. I wanna see if there's any jungles, camps to steal. Yep. Also, I don't know if um, folks are aware of the upcoming game mode, but I was trying it out in the testing like mode of league, um, the public. Or the PB. Yeah, I'm trying to think what does PB stand for? Public, <laughs> public, public beta environment. Environment, yeah. Um, there's this mode called uh, what's Spellbook. Oh, uh, Jacob? Yeah. Okay. You're good, I just wanted to make sure you weren't window shopping. I was not. <laughs> but she may be able to catch me. Nah. No, I'm I was, I, I, I have played this game enough, never window shop. Just know what you never want. window just know, shop. Just know what you want before you go back. Pay your taxes and never window shop. <laughs> so That's true. Exactly. <laughs> Spoken like a true true ADC. Don't no window shopping and pay your taxes. Pay your, ta <laughs> pay your taxes to your measly jungler. <laughs> oh, nice. Good job, Dylan. Adam. They're collapsing on Julian top. Uh, yeah. he, run, run ace if you can, Julian. That okay, way. That way. Good. That way. I almost jumped over the wall too. Almost it. Yeah, I saw that. You were close. Yeah, I was just gonna say there's a ultimate spellbook mode coming where you can take an ulti of another champion in addition to your own ulti, ultimate skill. So like you have. So that'll be pretty cool. Um... Great. Let me let me stack my Q on the Raptors and I'll join mid lane. I almost go, Garen. Okay, let's go. Yeah, Garen almost died, but he keeps oh. running away. Oi. Okay. Oh, that lasted Good. forever. Good. Yeah. I'm gonna life seal on the Raptors real quick. Give me a second. The infinite stun. Uh, we should push bot lane, in my opinion. Like, okay. They have a pretty good amount of clear, unless we get a catch here, which is totally possible. I mean, that Yasso is looking real tasty. Yeah. Are you staying? I'm. Oh, we're fighting now. <laughs> oh! 
Oh, I don't have my ulti. Oh, I saw the opportunity. That was very, no, that was very cool. If I had my ulti, that would have been perfect. <laughs> Oh no! Oh, kill him! Kill him! Kill him! Kill him! Kill him! Kill him! Nice. Yay! Well, we're back! <laughs> my I have no master to flash. Oh my god. I was just like, Julian, I just saw you bounce it. I was just like, oh no! Yeah, that, that was a really good engage. I like had the angle for the craziest ultimate, but I didn't have ulti. It was like eight seconds away. Damn. Wow. I would say don't run it down, unless you think you can get maybe one, one tower. Yeah, get one tower and leave. Oh, I was one second away from killing I still have my ultimate, and we still have Yone. Or, hmm. Yeah, but yeah, their whole team's up. Right. Like, <laughs> don't, don't run it down. Don't run yeah, it down. As long as you have Baron up. If we lose Baron, and, and oh, Dragon, and game? Dragon, and Dragon Souls. Oh, so heck, oh. No, leave, leave me. <laughs> They might do Baron right away. Actually, they're pretty low. Oh, I almost did it. Yeah, you almost. Uh. I kind of just need to prevent them from getting sold, though. Like... Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. like that they're good okay, with that. They're also. probably running to Baron, you, you can, but if yeah, I put Narpa's pressure mid, mid. Yeah, Narpa's yeah. is mid. Uh, Hecarim gets Dragon. So that's a fine trade. It's not ideal, but... We take what we can get. Yeah, I mean, behind. it's better than better than giving them soul. Yeah. Well, they're, probably do, they're probably gonna, yeah, do Baron. But they're gonna insta back now. Here. No, I actually think they may just. I think some of them might, but I think Hecarim may just the other Hecarim may just run straight here. Yeah. So this is a. Yeah, they're back. They back. Kind of long game, right? Are we? Do you think we're playing in low elo? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. What makes something a long game? Eh, Past 20 just minutes. Lots of trade and kills and whatnot. Mm. Like these like days, it... like like 35 minutes or something like that is considered a long game. But I played in metas where like the yeah, game, like every an game's hour an long. hour. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I definitely, yeah. On Nivea versus Zerath. You know what's the worst feeling? Like, is if the game is one hour long and you still lose. Oh, that's. <laughs> I tend oh, yeah. to not think about those times. But then if you win, it's more glorious. <laughs> yeah, it is. I'm like, oh, whew, I did it. <laughs> Okay, wait, does B2 get... far up mid lane? Because they won't get cut out. Yeah, back up, back up. I think the only time I have super long games like that anymore is Clash. Like, mm -hmm. yeah. Actual team coordination. It's just yeah, about, both like... teams refuse to surrender. Oh my god. Almost got him. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> I'm I was trying to see if I could uh, let me test the kill player. But I got Hecarim away at least. I don't think anybody's down here. No, they're not. Alright, I have teleport, so I'm watching you Yeah, guys. just keep pushing top. Uh, be away from mid lane, because we don't want to get caught out. Okay. Something else I think about is, um... Oh, leave me, leave me, leave me. Keep running, keep running. Do you have ulti? Oh, no. Uh-oh. Leave run, me. Run, just run, just run. Just run. <laughs> yeah. Back, back on mid. Back on mid. Yeah. So probably gonna lose an inhib. Gotta do something. Like that. Hey, Baron. Uh, they're gonna kill you, actually. Think, yeah, they're gonna try. Straight out the gate. And they can try all they like. Wait, I'm there in 20. Just wait for my ulti. It's in 25 seconds. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh, no. Oh, damn, I, I, I wouldn't force. I wouldn't force Dawn here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, just wait. Do it. Just do it. Am I ulti in 15 seconds? Just gotta wait for uh, Varus. Yeah, Varus 13, Blitzcrank 18. Okay, wait, you gotta go in now. Yep, together. Oh, oh god. I have I have Guardian Angel though. Okay. They don't Okay, I'm back. <laughs> Jeez, I'm sorry. I'm so scared. Also back, also back. Oh, no. I know it's also over in this game. Oh okay. Uh... I rooted Jinx, but Oh uh, yeah, they got it. Yeah. That's oh. my bad. I'm lucky. Good stuff though. You do it. Uh... The Hecarim on Hecarim shut down to end the game. <laughs> <laughs> One thing that that surprised me was Garen was so fast. Oh, yeah, he had, he had Dead Man's and obviously his abilities. I healed, I flashed, I ulted him, I also slowed him, so I was like, shouldn't I be able to escape this? <laughs> yeah. That's why some engage ranges, like, 
some champions just have like ridiculous things you have to be like a screen away for to respect <laughs> yeah engage speeds yep wow okay that was a very long second game um thank you so much for joining me all of you i, yeah, I hope you had fun thanks yeah, for the um, invite yeah, of course. And, and we should do this some other time, um, maybe when there's a new like League event or something comes up. Um, and yeah, hopefully we can uh, play more sometime. Um, yeah, so to everyone tuning in, thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a great weekend and happy Summer Friday. Um, have a safe launch, launch crew. <laughs>